Hello and welcome to another day in Sophia Kamal's kitchen. Today I want to show you how to make tilapia fish. Very delicious tilapia fish with the simplest ingredients that everyone could be having in their kitchen. And before I continue, I want to thank you all my subscribers and people who support my channel. So if you're new to my channel today, please uh, kindly subscribe and share and I will never disappoint you. So let's get started. To start the process, you need a sharp knife, uh, scissors, kitchen scissors and your fish. So what we are going to do, we can remove a little bit of this. I just like removing them from being on my way. And this I can leave there at, uh, below. I can remove these ones too. Or you can use a knife. You don't need uh, the scissors if you don't have it. So whatever you have, you could use. And the reason I'm removing this is that I have a clear place for making incision into my tilapia fish so that I can rub in my uh, spices. So after that, then I, my fish is already cleaned and gutted and scaled. So I will make some incision. You can make as much as you want, but for me, I'll make about three to four incision. Deep slanting inwards. Another one, another one, and another one. This one, the flavors of your spices will go in very good. And then I will do the same. Another one here, another one here. See, when you have a sharp knife, it's so easy. Another one, and another one. I'll continue then, we'll go to the next step. We will have to combine all these ingredients in front of me. So here I do have mayonnaise. I really love mayonnaise because of the creamy and the lemony flavor in it. I will use three to four tablespoons, but for now, I and I'm doing a heapful. So we can say it's four tablespoons, but three heapful, uh, uh, spoons depending on how much you have but you will get the point I'm just showing you the basics and then you can decide from there so remember mayonnaise seasoning salt and my garlic salt they all have salt so you have to be very careful I will just add a quarter teaspoon of the garlic salt if you have plain garlic powder you could use more so I'm just using this because this is what I have. And here I will use also uh, like a third teaspoon of the um, seasoning salt. This one has a smoky barbecue flavor. I'll use a teaspoon of paprika. And I will crush this about half a teaspoon to one teaspoon depending if you like it very hot and i will add a tablespoon of thyme and thyme really has good aromas that makes your fish just go to the next level and then i will just crush it and there if you have fresh is good so I'll grind this and then mix and we'll come back to see the next step. So my mayonnaise mixture is ready. And for sure, when I put that a third teaspoon of seasoning salt and a quarter teaspoon of the garlic, it is perfect. You put a little more, it is gonna be very salty and you will mess all the flavors. But if it's just garlic powder or seasoning powder without salt, you can put more. But this is, I tested, it's perfect. So I will go ahead now and take my fish one at a time. You could use a brush or your bare hands. I prefer working with my hands and I will just put it into the fish and your fish has to be nicely dried and uh, yeah you put in here and meanwhile your um, oven has to be on and i'm going to use my broiling setting so my stove is on broiler on uh, high and then 
depending on how it's burning depending also on the weather i can put it on a high setting or low setting so i'll continue like this and flip the other side and apply all into the incision and all those good flavors oh you should smell this right now the rosemary just makes everything uh, smell so good and here i'm done with my first fish it's not a lot of uh, work to do you just do like that and like this and i put my next my fish here so you can see what i'm using here this is my cookie cooling rack you do not need to go find something like a grilling thing to do your fish you could use even a round pizza tray and or a cookie cooling rack because we just want the fish not to be soggy but really crispy and dry i will take my second fish and do the same and the third fish and we will come back and show what to do next so my fish is all um, covered in that delicious sauce it is delicious even before it goes in the oven it smells really really good then my oven is already broiled on high so i'm gonna take it uh, over here i removed my middle rack because the high can burn really fast so i am just gonna put in the most closer to the bottom i'm using high because of the weather it's cold today and i put on the bottom rack 15 minutes but be careful to check and make sure that um, this it's not smoking and setting off your alarm so you go ahead and uh, we will cover it and i will check it halfway if it's too high and burning i will reduce to a low setting here this is high i'll reduce into a low setting after like seven minutes and then continue cooking for 15 minutes and then we will come back and flip our fish so 15 minutes is up i've been constantly watching my fish and putting it at the very bottom rack on high setting was the right judgment 15 minutes are up and now i have to take it out and flip it look at that oh the smell is really really good i should have used to look at that now i have to flip my fish gently using two spatulas or the tongue or both whichever way and just need to flip it see this other side is not cooked and this is cooked perfectly if you want it cooked more you bring it oops you bring it uh, to with a high setting into the middle rack and that there and this other one i broke the tail <laughs> and that so i will continue cooking at that setting um again high 15 minutes on the lower rack and my fish will cook perfectly if you want it crispier you can move your rack to middle but this mine is perfect so let's move it back in there oh, it's hot there and then again 15 minutes it's been 15 minutes now and the oven is calling me so let's see how our fish turns out oh my goodness look at that look at that and the aromas are great that is a broiled fish and if you want it even more crispier you can make it uh, in the middle rack but mine i like it a little softer like this and depending on the mood sometimes i like it crispier and hard so this is it i'm going to finish plating it and we see the final results
my fish is all done as you can see air is juicy all the moisture is sealed inside and very little came onto the tray which i have to show you guys see when you have a rack like this the moist the liquids go down and then your fish comes out really dry and crispy but if you like it wet then that's up to you you can put it direct onto the plate and using a big uh, slotted uh, rack like this one it will be easier for you to remove your fish from the rack otherwise if it's at the bottom the skin will be peeled and left out no being fancy but it's up to you so this is how my fish is done it is beautiful the aromas the flavors have mingled and now i am hungry i need to plate for myself right now i have my fries ready and my coleslaw it's fish and chips there Ooh, that is so appetizing who wouldn't want that this is a meal especially during lenten season every friday you can um you can just entertain yourself i've been having french fries friday forever so this is one of the things and i enjoy and look forward to every friday having french fries but because of the lenten season we go with fish instead of chicken or steak and that is a beautiful plate now it's your turn go ahead give this fish recipe a try and let me know how yours turns out as you have seen it was very very easy to make you just put your ingredients together and after that is 15 minutes one side 15 minutes the other and it's done and you know another thing i love grilling my fish or broiling because the house does not get smelly have you ever gone out and smell people have fish smell in their clothes i really don't like that i can do my deep fried fish or cook on the stove top during summer when i can open my doors and windows but during this cold weather it's the best idea you cook the fish and when everybody is uh, at home for dinner they will not even know that you made fish because it won't be smelly so i hope you will give my recipe a try and we will see you in the next episode please remember to like subscribe and share until next time bye